Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Having rice coffee again this morning. It's cloudy and just drizzling a little bit outside, but it's very nice and warm. So that's nice. So I guess we're going to get some rain today, but that's okay. Um, I need to do some things inside anyway. So on rainy days, I take advantage of the weather and work inside, do some things inside. I always have things to do. I don't know. I have friends that are always saying, oh, I'm bored. I have to go back to work. So I don't know how that happens, but I don't know. If you guys are that way, let me know in the comments below. Do you need to work in order to not be bored? I have enough work to do around my house just keeping up with things. Maybe if I had a tiny little small house, I wouldn't have that issue. But I don't plan on moving. So <clears throat> I built this house as my retirement home with the thought in mind that now it's a two-story colonial. But I had in mind that if I can't do stairs anymore or, you know, something like that, then I could um, just live on this downstairs floor. And actually, when I broke my hip, that was in 2016, yes, uh, I actually did live on the first floor here for a good long time. Um, and then, of course, you know, when I started doing the stairs, I do sleep upstairs, but I have a day bed in the living room, and I have a bathroom here, I have my laundry area here, so there's really not a whole lot of reason to have to go upstairs, but um, actually upstairs is the first floor that I'm trying to declutter, that and the basement. So, um, I don't know, that's what my plans were. Same with the garden. I put in my little garden. It's all in raised beds and containers. But uh, if I can't garden anymore, then I'll just break it all down and call it a day. So this will more likely than not remain my retirement home. And anyway, those were my thoughts when I had it built back in 2003. So I've been here 21 years. I love the neighborhood. I love my house. I love the outside space. There really isn't a whole lot that I don't like about this house, um, other than the whole bunch of repairs I've had to do lately. But, uh, you know, once a house gets to be 20-some years old, you're going to have to do repairs. That's all there is to it. So, um, Anyway, I have my to-go cup here today because uh, I'm planning on a little trip over to Ollie's. They have some little raised uh, containers, beds with lids, and I was thinking maybe that would be an easier way for me to go instead of having so many pots. Now, I'm planning on getting rid of the pots anyway, but... Um, you know, I thought since these have a, a lid, so it's like a little greenhouse, that that would be a good way to go. So I'm taking my to-go cup with me, with my rise in it. And um, I have to get dressed and go. So we'll see if they still have them. I mean, they sell a lot of things pretty quickly. And it was in their... Um, flyer this week. So hopefully they still have a couple. All right. Cheers. If not, then I obviously won't get any. Ah, yes. Very good. So that'll be going with me. And um, I will be back later. Well, it's sprinkling out here this morning, but I got my water fountain going, and it's just pieces and parts that I put together. 
that I saved up over the years. This was a part of an actual fountain. It fell apart, so I saved the waterfall part of it. Um, this little fairy I've had for a very long time. And actually the water fountain part I've had for quite a while, too. So, the garden is coming along. Not a lot of wind going on today, but the leaves are all out. And the garden is looking nice and green. Look at the color of that grass. It's awesome. Well, I have to close my door before the birds fly in my house. That wouldn't be a good thing. And the garden is looking nice and green. So is my house. I need to call the power washer people. That needs to happen pretty quickly. All right. Here's my garden this morning. Looking better, but needs work. Right, well, I'm on my way to Ollie's. It's not that far, maybe about three or four miles. That's another reason I like living in this area. It's suburban, but yet it's close to a lot of shopping, a lot of things, uh, most major stores. There's a lot of Dollar Trees around. Um, Big Lots, Ollie's, um, Aldi's, Mark's, a whole lot of different stores are available to choose from. So I'm within 10-15 minutes of all these places and uh, that makes it nice. So that's another reason why I don't want to uh, live somewhere else because it's very convenient yet it's not quite as crazy as living in a city. I don't know if I'd be happy living in a city. I don't, I don't remember ever living in the city. I've always been a suburb gal. Um, I don't like the hustle and the bustle of the city. I could never live like in downtown Cleveland or New York, any of those places. Just too congested for me. Too many people. Uh, no, I would not be, I would not do well there. So it looks like it might clear up, but I don't know. It's pretty heavy cloud cover today. So I'll probably just be doing my inside things. But I did want to take the advantage of seeing if I can get a couple of those little uh, raised grow beds. They look pretty small and kind of short, but um, it's okay. Anything to get it off the ground because I have one of those little, it, it's like a little scooter thing that you can sit on to do your garden work. And that works out really well for me. So, oh, I have so many plans. <laughs> and I know some of you are saying, Ellen, why don't you just stop? <laughs> well, like I said, my mom always said, if you stop doing something, it, you're going to lose it. So I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose my mind either, <laughs> trying to get everything done, but it's okay. You know, I, I just pace myself and <clears throat> try and live in the moment and get things done as best I can. And I know when I've had enough, then, uh, then I do stop. When I just don't want to do something anymore, then I quit doing it. But there's a lot of things that I still believe that I'm able to do and I'll just keep trying to do them. And if it gets to the point where I know, okay, it, it really is time to cut it out, then I will. And I'll do it happily. You know, it's like, okay, I did it. It was a wonderful experience. But now I need to move on to something else that'll make me happy too. 
So just because you can't do something anymore doesn't mean that you can't find other things that make you happy in life. At least that's what I think. You know, life is an adventure. You move from one adventure to another train tracks. When my daughter was young and I used to drive her to school, um, we always had to go past the train tracks and they had uh, Amtrak at that time. So we, we both always get excited. Oh, it's a people train. I haven't seen a people train in ages. I, I guess they did away with that. But I don't know. Things have changed so much in the past 10, 15 years. It's just unbelievable how much things have changed and how quickly. You know, mankind has made, well, what they call progress. I, I don't know. Sometimes I have to question that statement. Made more progress in the last 50 years than in all of humanity's time on this planet. So, and it just keeps accelerating, keeps going faster and faster and faster. So, but I guess it's like the expansion of the universe. That keeps going faster, too. I don't know. Must be God's plan. I don't know what the end result will be, and I don't even know if I want to know. But, um, it's, it's interesting. I like, um checking out videos and documentaries and things like that on uh, space and time and all those different things. I find it fascinating. And um, anyway, I'll be at Ollie's in a little bit and I'm going to sign off for now. And I'll be back later and let you know if I scored those containers or not. I don't need any food. I don't need any coffee. I've got enough of all that stuff and I'm still trying to cook down my freezers. Uh, I'll never have an empty freezer, but that's okay. It's, you know, food security. And I think that's important in these crazy times. So, at least you know you'll have food, and I have plenty for me and my grandson and whatever other family member needs food. Of course, I will share it with them, too. So, you know, we all think, oh, we're not, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to fall on hard times, but you never know. You just don't know what is in store for you, for you down the road. So. My philosophy is it's better to be prepared than to be caught with your pants down. So, okay, enough chit-chat in the car. I'll be back later. Well, all right, I accomplished my mission at Ollie's. They had only two left, so I grabbed them. Now, they're small, the ones with the lid. But while I was there, they had, for $10 more, they had the, um, the larger raised beds, which I have two of, and I got those at Mark's a few years back for $20. Incredible price, because these, that size is usually over $100 on Amazon. They still sell those. So they had plain ones, the same size, and I ended up grabbing two of those as well. That way, all my garden beds will be raised up higher. And those were only $39.99 a piece. The small ones were $29.99 with the lids. So I really... Um, I'm happy that I found those things that uh, <clears throat> will be very helpful to me as I get older and garden. Um, they also had some really great spices, and Ollie's is <clears throat> one of the best places I know 
to get spices. So if you need a container of uh, onion powder, garlic powder, it's like $4.49 for a big container. And if you buy, you know, the other, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, spices at your grocery store, you get a little, little container for, you know, $3 or whatever. So, and they have some really different things too. That's one thing I like about Ollie's. It's usually where I go to get my spices. So I did pick up a few uh, spices. And, um, yeah, I'm just tickled pink that I got those raised beds. <clears throat> because, like I said, if you buy those on Amazon, they're $100. So that was a good score. So anyway, I'm on my way home now. And I won't be doing gardening today because it's very overcast. And it's starting to cool down as well. So, um, I'll be doing some things in the house today and just taking it easy because uh, after all that garden work, sometimes I just need a day to rest. But I'll do a few simple things. So, gasoline is up to $3.75 again. I know they have to blame something, I'm sure they'll blame a war or whatever but yeah I'm sure it doesn't need to be that expensive so anyway I just wanted to come on and tell you how excited I am about the things I found at Ollie's and I'll tell you those race beds were going quick uh, they just brought the bigger ones out when I got there and uh, you know, there, there were like three left, and there were none of the smaller ones with the lids. So I'm always happy when I can find something useful that I'll actually use uh, that makes me happy. All right, well, I'll see you when I get home. Here's some of my plans for those garden beds I just bought. I'm going to put one here rearrange this a little bit and that'll keep the fence a little more stable. So I'm going to put one of the smaller ones there and then over here I'm going to put the bigger ones, one here and one next to it. So that'll get a lot of nice sun and some of these pots are going to be going over there because they're raspberries and different things so I'll move those around the grow bags I'm going to get rid of most of them I may keep these tall ones for potatoes in the future but not this year so that's the plan for those big garden beds and then see they're about the same size as these over here and I just love those garden beds. So I have a plan for where to put everything. And see, these are real easy. Very, very easy to garden in. I don't have to bend over at all. So That'll be nice. Then my greenhouse will be going here, the bigger one. I have that little one there. But that'll be going there. And everything else will stay the same. All these little raised garden beds will remain. This one will remain. Let's see how the lettuce is doing. The wind is picking up. And I see I'm growing lettuce in here too. That's from last year. This is my plum tree. It's a methley dwarf plum. Never heard of it, but okay. So let's see how this lettuce is doing. Ah, it's doing great. So I have plenty of lettuce to eat. Hopefully I can eat it. 
So that'll be great. My blueberries are coming back. This is a blueberry bush right here. I have two of them. So those are coming back. And uh, all these are going to stay, but I would like to straighten out this line a little bit. But I'm going to need help to do that. And I see all my grapevines are starting to bud out. So this will be nice and private when it all um, leaves out. So nothing going on over here in these beds yet, but I did, yesterday, I did put soil in all of these. And if it rains, it'll get some, uh, it'll wet the soil. But I just turned on the water. So uh, I'll be doing that later on. And let's take a look over here. This is all weeds, so this needs to be taken out. And this is dead nettle, which you can use to make tea. It's a wild edible, so you can have that as a tea. Yep, and that's that for the garden. So I'm very happy that I found those garden raised beds so cheap. Still lots of work to do, but this is keeping the dogs out of this section, so that works well. And my rain barrel has a drip, so I need to get a new little faucet for my rain barrel, because it's not holding the water. So I did clean up here a little bit yesterday. I set up these chairs. And this is a nice place to sit. And even if the sun's out, I have this big umbrella. Oh my goodness. I see I have an ant problem. I think those are ants. They just sprayed. No, they're, yeah, they're ants. They look like flying ants. Oh, gross. I'll have to come out and take care of those. I have a contract with the um, bug people. So I might as well put that to good use. Now this over here is going to go in the trash because um, it's falling apart. I could put it back together, but I find what happens is the mice and the chipmunks hold up in there. So I, that needs to go. So those are all my plans for my little garden beds. And uh, just trying to make things neat and tidy. And hopefully easier. Now some of you might say, oh, but why? Do you have more garden beds now? Yeah, but they're taller and easier for future me. Okay, that's it for the garden today. Right, Chloe? Shall we go in? It's going to rain. Come on, my puppies. Let's go in. Let's go in. Right, come on, Chloe. Come join the gang. All right, there we go. Everybody go in. Okay, I gotta get to work and put some things away. Okay, back from Ollie's. So I wanted to show you what I bought. Mainly spices, but I'll show you anyway. So I bought this big container of Chili O by French's. That was $3.99. So that'll be a handy thing to have. Then I bought this onion powder, Kelowna, and that was $4.49. 
and they're nice big containers. I just refill my little containers with these. I keep these in my pantry. Much cheaper than um, Gordon Food Service. I used to buy spices there because I thought they had good deals, but last time I went they were ridiculously expensive. So either here at Ollie's or Costco. Sometimes I'll buy uh, spices at Costco too. So this is granulated garlic and that was $4.99. Then I got This Weber all-purpose cookout, it's savory garlic buttery seasoning. So I got that, and I was kind of hoping that I used to get a breakfast blend, but they don't make that anymore. So I was kind of hoping that this would be similar, because the breakfast blend was really good on fried potatoes, and also it was good on eggs. So I wanted to try that. Oh, and this was $2.99, and the breakfast blend was like over $5 at Walmart. But they don't have it anymore. I look every year, but they don't have it. So I also got by Weber. This is a sweet coffee, spice, garlic, ancho, and brown sugar, seasoning, and rub. I wanted to try this to put on some of my vegan meats or maybe on some tofu crisp crisp it up and because putting coffee in your vegan meats gives it more of an umami flavor uh, so I wanted to try that and that was also $2.99 then I got mango pepper and this is by Badia, Badia, that sounded good. I thought if I had, if I made some sort of a fishy kind of dish, vegetarian fishy kind of dish, I thought this mango pepper would be really good on that. That was my thought. Then I got some thyme leaves. I'm running low on that. And this was $1.29. Did I say this was $2.69? $2.69. Then I got orange pepper. That sounded good too. Again, by Badia, Badia, whatever. And this is two, also $2.69. So I also got, got one more bag here with other things. I got one of these little honey bears for $2.29, and it says it's pure honey. I don't know, sometimes they cheat. Then I got this running low on cashews, so I got this whole cashew salted, um, and that was... $6.99. So I usually get my cashews at uh, Aldi's, but I'm not going to Aldi's now, and like I said, I'm running low on cashews. And sometimes I use these to make vegetarian dishes. I like to put cashews in stir fries. I like the extra protein, and I like the little bit of a crunch it gives. And then I found this big bottle for $2.29, and this stuff is expensive if you buy the Tarani, but this is sugar-free raspberry, and you guys know how much I like my raspberry coffee and my raspberry iced tea in the summer, and the small bottles, about this big, of the Tarani uh, is $4.99 now, so I got the raspberry. They had other flavors, too. But they only had one raspberry, so I picked that up. Otherwise, I would have gotten another one. And then I picked up, this was 99 cents, Cinnamon Toast Crunch with Cinnadust Cookie Mix. That 
sounded really good. Um, you add an egg and butter. So I'm thinking this would be kind of like a snickerdoodle, and that's one of my favorite cookies. So I got that, and I know I said I wasn't going to buy any coffee, but they had, um, I like McDonald's iced coffee. I, I buy it in the summertime. It's cheap, and it's really good. So they had this uh, McCafe iced one-step hazelnut latte. And McDonald's used to have the hazelnut flavoring that uh, you could get, but now they pretty much only have uh, vanilla and mocha. So I thought I'd try that for the summertime. I like to have an iced uh, coffee out on my deck. So, oh, and this was $3.99, so it wasn't very expensive. Did I say this was $2.29? Well, it was $2.29. Okay, and this are the two, these are the two 40-inch raised garden beds. It's Aaron's Garden. I have to look it up in, on Amazon and see if they sell them and how much they are on Amazon. And then these are the smaller ones with the lid. Sorry, it's upside down, but, um, and those are 30 inches. So I think those will be great in my garden. So anyway, that's what I got at Ollie's, and now I'm home. It's, uh, it's around noon. I just had a little bit of lunch. And um, I'm just going to putz around inside today. It got pretty cloudy outside, and I could go work outside, but I'm giving it a rest today. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm making progress, so that's, that's my main goal, is to get the garden set up. Now, for me, the hardest part about getting the garden set up this year, of course, is hauling the dirt that I need to fill up the garden beds. But I figured I can I can still lift like two cubic feet of dirt. The um or was it one cubic feet? Anyway, um I try to get even though it costs more, I try to get bags of things that I can still lift. It's like when I buy dog food it's 40 pounds and there's no way I mean I have to wrestle with that thing so I usually luck out and somebody helps me put it in the trunk but I can't lift it up out of the uh, cart it's just too heavy I don't have the upper body strength anymore because of my neck problems so that's always an issue or I have the people at Costco loaded in the trunk for me and then when I get home, I wait for my grandson, and he takes it, puts it in the garage. So as you get older, you got to get a system, you know. I mean, if you can't do things yourself, you got to kind of get the help, and you got to get a system going where um, you have people available to help you as you need it. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. And please check and see if you're still subscribed to my channel. YouTube is playing games again. I don't know what they're up to. But um, I would appreciate it if you would resubscribe. If you would find it um, in your heart to do so, it helps me out a lot. I know people watch the videos that aren't subscribed, but um, it really helps us YouTubers out. If you subscribe, if you comment, if you like the video, and if you give it a thumbs up. So, all right, my friends, I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.